Welcome to the Money and Meaning Show. I'm your host, Kenae Quarter, National Certified Counselor and the world's number one clinical hypnotherapist specializing in stress management for healthcare professionals who want to turn a life of stress into a life of meaning and help their patients do the same. Tune in each week. I'll show you how to respond to yourself first. So, are you ready to let go of your stress? Well, let's get into today's show. Happy New Year, my prosperous. I'm excited. I am so excited because I have decided that 2021 is the year of fun. I am going to be chronicling my fun journey during 2021. Some of it I'll do right here on the podcast, but a lot of it I'll do probably on like Instagram and LinkedIn. So hopefully you follow me so we can hang out there and you can do some fun things and tag me in it and let me know what you're doing. Oh my gosh, it's the new year. It's new year. So 2020 is over. I enjoyed 2020. I'm looking for 2021 to be even better than 2020. Hope you are too. And let's focus today on customizing your American dream. And I'm going to give you four, but you know how I am. I usually drop in a few more. I'm going to give you at least four things that you could do to make 2021 customize your customized American dream. So again, happy new year. Let me ask you, are you one of those people who You say happy new year, like even in March, if it's the first time you've seen the person during the new year, or like, is there a limit to how long you can say happy new year? Personally, I think I stop around at the end of January. Like once it becomes February, then I just stop saying happy new year. What do you do? I'm just curious. You can send me, you can like DM me on LinkedIn or Instagram and tell me your new year etiquette. I'm just curious and I'd like to know, does it annoy you when people are like, it's February 15th and people are still saying Happy New Year? Are you cool with that? I think I get a little annoyed. I'm like, oh, stop it. (laughs) Oh, stop it. The year is almost over. It's February now. (laughs) My years go so fast. I don't know about you. This is hilarious. I think I might tell you something at the end right? that's happening right now. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways. (laughs) it's cracking me up, but I'm just going to go and push through it. (laughs) Customizing your American dream. Why is that important? Let's start there. Because, you know, society has lied to us and they've told us this programming around the American dream, the standard American dream. They've told us that we need to have a certain education, right? We need to go to certain schools. Shoot, we need to go to school, period, and go as long as you possibly can because the more school you go to, the more somebody you are. The more degrees you have, the more important you are, right? Not necessarily true, but that's what society teaches us. Society also says if you get married, you're somebody, right? Now you belong to somebody. Somebody can claim you. You can claim somebody. You are important. Then it says you have to have children to be important or for life to be meaningful. And if you don't want to do that, then you seem weird and people go like, what is wrong with you? And then don't forget you have a dog. You've got to have a dog and in the house. And I guess the white picket fence would be cool too. So you go to school, you get a good job. Did I forget that one? I did. Yeah. Do not forget about the job because if you try and be an entrepreneur back in the day, that used to be like not so cool as it is right now. So I see our American dream programming changing. We're at least embracing this entrepreneurship. A lot of us, many of you listening, I mean, nothing is wrong with having a job, but nothing is wrong with being an entrepreneur either. Nothing is wrong with having children, but nothing is wrong with not having children either. You don't have to have children in order to have a meaningful life. There's so many ways to pour into the youth coming up under you. There's so many ways to contribute to this world and you can customize that to you. So the first thing you have to do, number one, is just admit that It's time to let go of that old American dream. You've heard me say it. The American dream is dead. It's time to make America 
meaningful. The American dream is not necessarily meaningful. Buying a house, having kids, getting degrees, that doesn't necessarily bring meaning to your life. So the first step is to just admit, admit that you have been programmed. I have been programmed to believe that I was supposed to follow a certain thing and I didn't actually follow it. So sometimes I feel weird and like, I like I don't fit in and and I'm having a problem with it. And it it, even though I actually tried to follow the American dream, I did the stuff you told me to do. I felt like I was following the American dream. And then, oh my gosh, turns out I didn't. At least I didn't get the feeling you told me I was supposed to feel when I got the American dream. What's up with that society? Yeah. So at least do that. Let's that's first do that for me. And be unapologetic about admitting it. Just be like, you know what? Dang it all to hell. I got to admit this. Give it up. Give it up for awareness. Yes, put your hands together. Welcome, awareness. Step one, done and done. I told you 2020 is the 2021. I told you 2021 is the year of fun. See how fun and easy that was? Just like that, you already got step one done. All right. Now that you admitted that you were programmed and you're ready to let that go, let go of that old standard American dream because standard American dream, the acronym SAD, sad, this is pretty sad. Yeah. I don't want you to be sad anymore. So I'm taking you to step two. You've got to visualize your prosperous life. Yeah. And I'm telling you, like visualize it, like see it, just like see it in your mind's eye. And if you can't see it, because I know not everybody can, just sense it, sense what it's like. And don't let anybody else's idea or their prosperous life sneak into yours. Don't look at anybody else's life. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what your parents did, what your grandparents did, what your neighbors are doing, what your what the person you went to high school with. Like, it does not matter. Let that go. It doesn't matter what any celebrity is doing. Look inside yourself. What would make you feel prosperous? Like, you know how some people want to buy a house and like live there for 30 years? I have never had that idea. I like, I barely lived anywhere more than two years. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. I love moving around. It's my thing. And the more I grow in business, the more I want to be able to move around. I love the idea of mobile. That's why I started a virtual company way before COVID was forcing people to do it. I did it. I did it. And a lot of the therapists around me were like, you're crazy. Like people stopped sending me referrals because they didn't understand what I was doing. And I, but I didn't care. I was like, no, this is what I want. This is, I was unapologetic. I wasn't looking at anybody's life. I just knew I wanted flexibility. And when my office building, the building that my office was in, when it got sold, I saw that as an opportunity. I didn't see that as sadness. A lot of people would see like, oh shoot, the building is getting sold from up under us. See that as a bad thing. I saw that. I was grateful. I saw that as an opportunity, like, all right, out of this lease now. And what I'm t- I'm taking myself virtual. Let's do it. And and it wasn't easy. Like I said, people didn't understand. They stopped sending me referrals, but my patients understood and they went with me and they were like, all right, let's do it. This is different, but I'll go with you on this. And I just t- promised them I'll pour into you no matter what. And thank you for trusting me. And I trust you. So visualize your life. If you want to be virtual, if you want to be mobile, move around. If you want variety in your life, cool. You don't have to have a cookie cutter life. But if if the American dream is what you want, then see that too. But really make sure it's what you want. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. Make sure it really truly is your vision for your life. All right. Like really visualize it. But it's just not enough to just have a vision, right? You've got to create a plan too. And that's number three, create the plan. Now, number three is actually three things. So I guess this is more than four already because number three is create the plan, follow the plan and be patient with the plan. But it's all around the plan. 
So I put it into one because it's all around the plan. And I call that plan your money mission. Now you can learn how to create your money mission if you become a member of the Prosperity Club. And just the other day, we did a really cool Embracing Wealth Masterclass. Oh, did you come? Did you did you miss it? You gotta come to the next one. It should be in like two weeks. There'll be a link in the show notes. So make sure that you click on that link and I give you the first step in creating your money mission inside the Embracing Wealth Masterclass. And then if you like, you can go with us to become a member of the Prosperity Club. If you like, you can even do virtual, semi-private or even in-person private with me and I'll help you design your money mission personally and help take you through the Breakthrough to Prosperity system, the program that's going to help you build your wealth, your wellness, your adventure, your love, and your legacy. So incredibly fun to know that, to have that, but it's just not enough to visualize it. That's just the beginning. That's just one step. You really need to create that money mission, a plan, a statement that you can always go back to. You can follow it because it's yours. Nobody else made it up for you. So it's easy to follow, right? Yeah. How does that sound? But hey, but you got to be patient with it because I told you I built a virtual practice and you've been following me for the last two years, right? And you saw the ups and downs and, you know, we had a great team and then and things were rolling and we had great patients that we were, loved working with. But then my entire patient roster changed. We changed our, our target market. Our whole team changed. My life changed. I moved to Vegas, fell in love. You're like, there's a lot that happened So you've got to be patient and the way that you can become patient is to have gratitude for your challenges. Remember how I said my office closed and I found a way to see the good in that rather than complaining and getting down. I was like, okay, the universe is doing this for me. So what's happening? How do I, how do I ride this wave? And we teach this in our control the controllable course. If you go to our website, link will be in the show notes. If you go to our website, you can see I have a podcast listeners bundle where you can get a recording, it won't get me, but you can get a recording of the money mission in the control the controllable. Now, if you join the prosperity club, you can get me live and I can teach you all of this. But if you just like, you know what, can I, I don't know if I can take you live. (laughs) I just want the recording. Then go to the website and get the recording. I completely understand my energy. I'm not one of those like bubbly, bubbly people, but my energy is buzzy. And so if you aren't ready like to hit the ground running, I am a gut person. I'm like, go, 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 go. And for some people, like, yeah, the head people, the heart people, they might move a little slower than a gut person. And I can frustrate a head person or a, a heart person. But let me tell you, I attract head people, especially, and then secondly, heart people. But I attract head people. So if you're a thinker, if you're cerebral, you're methodical, and you're like, I love Kane, I just don't know if I can roll with her. Just stay here on the podcast and, and let's kick it here. But either way, however we journey together, I am incredibly grateful for you. You have no idea. And I'm patient with you. And I know that you might stay here for a while, two years or whatever. And then next thing you know, because I've been in this business long enough, people were like, hey, I've been following you for six years and now I'm ready. Like, what? What? Six years? Yeah, that's a true story because I've been doing this work a long time. I've only had a podcast for three or four years, but I've been doing this work for a very long time. This podcast is brought to you by Presidential Lifestyle, a wellness company focused on wealth in all of its forms, providing the world's best life transformational programs to healthcare professionals, elevating everything from your mind, body, spirit, productivity, and even your business. Every area of your life transformed and optimized for just a few dollars a day. You'll have access to live hypnotherapy, on-demand virtual guides, and continuing education courses as well as group discussion forums, all available from your mobile phone or your desktop. Get early access to this life transformational program by visiting presidentiallifestyle.com slash early. Let me ask you a question. Are you a healthcare or wellness professional burned out 
from the demands of what it takes to truly serve your patients and clients, then Presidential Experience is for you. You need someone to pour into you the way you pour into others. It's time for you to make the shift from putting others first to responding to yourself first. I'll show you exactly how to do it. Right now, we're looking for 25 purpose-driven healthcare professionals to participate in our early access program. I've developed this program over the past 10 years, and I've learned that it can help break through the blocks keeping healthcare professionals from enjoying their life's work. We are limiting access to 25 people because keeping the group small will help maximize the impact. I'm offering to share my techniques with you at a deeply discounted rate in exchange for your feedback and shares. If you join us on this transformational journey, we will work together weekly as I deliver live group hypnotherapy sessions so you can experience it for yourself. I'll share with you the techniques and answer your question as you prepare to use what you've learned in your own life and practice. Outside of your weekly sessions with me, you can interact with other members to share ideas and success stories. So here's what you're going to do. Go to presidentiallifestyle.com slash early. If you're even remotely interested in this, don't wait because it won't last long. Go ahead, click the link in the show notes or go to presidentiallifestyle.com slash early because there's more to tell you. So I look forward to working with you and I'll see you soon. And when I say a very long time, I mean, since almost since I was a kid, really, I've been doing this work since I was 15 years old, but like professionally and getting paid for it about 12 years now. And that, and I say that, like, you know, I was a financial advisor, you know, you know, all of that. And I'm talking about outside of that, like actually coaching people, walking them through, helping them find themselves their true authentic selves, because I have always been authentic since I was a kid. I have been known to just speak my truth and that's how kids are. And so that's actually our next one. Number four, I want you to tap into your inner child. Like have a childlike heart, head, and gut. When kids want something, they just go after it, right? If they want a cookie, they're like, mommy, can I have a cookie? You say no. And they're like, oh, okay, why? And then you're like, because it's too early. Let's just say they said that. It's like, oh, but I had a cookie this time yesterday, two weeks ago or whatever. But then you're like, I said no. And they're like, oh, but please, can I please have... I just want three. And then you're like, no, you cannot have three cookies. Okay, then can I have two? And you're like, oh my gosh, no, you cannot have cookies. It's too early. Wait until lunchtime. But I really want a cookie. I mean, they they don't stop. They get relentless about the ding on cookie. Are you familiar with this process? Yeah. But then also think about what kids do. Because I bring that up because eventually your, the mom is going to be like, you know what? Here, have a cookie. And they might only get one, but they got a cookie because they stayed in. <laughs> they didn't let go. So also another thing that kids do is they just, they just go, right? They, you know, they, they don't need everything to be perfect in order to take the step. They're just like, hey, this is my dollhouse or hey, this is my tent. And you're like, oh, but your tent is crooked. It doesn't matter to them. It's like, this is fun. That's fun. That's why 2021 is going to be the year of fun because you're not going to be worried about getting everything perfect. You're not going to be judging me that I spell every word right because I can guarantee you there's going to be a typo and don't not get into the prosperity club because there's a typo in on our landing page. Don't do that to yourself. Have you ever heard me say it's a statement? I don't I don't want to say it here because I don't know if you're listening to this with your kids, but it rhymes with duck that fist, <laughs> except the duck starts with the F. Yeah. Yeah. F that. It's like, seriously, don't, don't do that to yourself. Do not get in your own way with little judgments of yourself or me or the world or whomever. Like, stop it now. Have a childlike heart. Kids are not that judgmental until they hit trauma and until their programming sets in. Now, before their programming sets in, they're not judgmental. They love everybody. And that's the other thing I want you to do. So you see how number three and number four have three things associated with them. Have a childlike heart, meaning you know, just stay relentless, keep asking, go for it. But also 
just like, you know, don't wait for it to be perfect. Just go for it. And then also just love it. Just love it. The way a kid does it, they just accept and they're vulnerable and they tell you, I love you. You know, they just like, oh, this is my best friend. You know, like that, that's how I have made it in this world. My vulnerability is what's gotten me so far. And people think that vulnerability will get you hurt. It won't if you do it from the the kindness of your heart. If you're vulnerable because you're manipulating people and you don't get what you want, then yeah, that hurts. But if you're vulnerable because it just feels good to just let your heart shine, like, oh my God, it feels so good. I'm telling you. And and it's also contagious because because I am like this. 90% of people I meet are like this with me. And it's pretty cool. Like sometimes it doesn't happen. Like somebody is like, Mm-mm, keep her away from me. She is weird. And I'm like, girl, you'll love it. And just real soon, just open your heart. And I don't actually say those words, but that's what I say inside myself. And, and I leave them room. I'm patient with them because I know not everybody has a childlike heart, even though I've been preaching this for years. I'm trying to tell you childlike heart is where it's at. So if you haven't tried it, try it. So stay relentless, ask for your cookie, and then you need to just love, love, love it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And then just keep a vulnerable, like open heart. So those are four, but I have one more for you. Yeah. And it's pretty shameless. I'll admit it. But number five is like get in a tribe. Number five is get in a tribe. It doesn't have to be the prosperity club. It can be any tribe you connect with, but the prosperity club might be for you if you are wanting to make a difference and make money. And that's another way you want to customize your American dream is, you know, how society teaches us that we have to choose between making a difference and making money. You don't. I'm telling you, you don't. And that's why I created the Embracing Wealth Masterclass, because I want you to understand that those two are not mutually exclusive. Like you can, you can make a difference and make money. And it just depends on what your life is set to. And your life is going to be set to your programming, but you can change your programming. You didn't choose your programming. It was given to you. You received it, you accepted it, but you didn't choose it. It was given to you, usually by your parents, society, you know, some caretakers. And then you go through your own stuff and then, you you know, it solidifies that programming and then you own it after a while. And I'm asking you, can you evict that programming from your brain? Can you just look, it's time for you to go. I'll show you how to do it. You stay with me, stay with me all this year. Like I'm going to do this, this whole podcast. I'm going to be interviewing this year with Emily Fletcher. Do you freaking know Emily Fletcher? She is awesome. She's one of my closest new friends. And she came from my 2020 blessings because one of the things I got in 2020 were new friends. And she is the CEO of Ziva. And if you know Ziva meditation, it's, it's an innovative meditation process that we have embraced. And we think it's just incredibly awesome. Anyway, she's going to be here in a couple of weeks. I talked about visualizing your prosperous life and Natalie Letwell from my movies is going to be here on the podcast as well. And she's going to teach you how to do that. She's going to walk you through. And more importantly, she's going to tell you why that's important because I don't think everybody understands why it's important to really be able to visualize but it is. And, and, and for especially, this is especially good for those who can't seem to see the vision. You know how some people like they can walk into an abandoned building and then they could like transform it and like, Oh, we're going to put this over here and do put that over there. Like, I can't, I can't see that. So when they, that's why I need to, that like, you know how you watch like H, HGTV and then they show you the model, they show you how that's going to look. And I'm like, Oh, now I get it. Yeah, I see it. But like trying to visualize that myself when they're just talking and pointing at walls and they're like, we're going to take this wall down and da, da, da. So you might be the type of person that can't visualize your prosperous life. Well, when you make a mind movie, it creates the life for you. You get to see it. Anyway, you got to be here in a couple of weeks when we have Natalie on and she's going to tell you all about it and we'll have a way for you to make your own mind movie. 
but we're talking about women's empowerment later in February. And I'm definitely going to have some African-American or Black CEOs on in February. And I'm going to tell you about boosting your immune system along with your wealth, because I'm very dedicated to whatever you're dedicated to this year. And I know that some of the top resolutions are improving your wealth, improving your wellness, and improving your love. So that's also something, actually, we'll talk about that love in February. And then in March, we'll be talking about boosting your immune system. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. So be here through this whole year. It's like this huge masterclass that I'm teaching. It's a year long masterclass. 2021 is all about the year of fun. So I'll keep you posted on what I do each week for fun. But I'd say go to Instagram or LinkedIn and make sure we are connected. Like make sure we're connected. Make me a connection. And I will. Most of the time I accept, especially if you if you go to LinkedIn and you go into, I think it's like more, and then personalize your invite. You can tell me that you are a podcast listener and I will absolutely accept you. But a lot of times I accept because I, I see your profile. I see you doing things. You know, you are freaking awesome. I especially look for my healthcare professionals, my doctors, because I really want to pour into you, especially this year. I want to pour into you. You've been working hard and that American dream affected you more than anybody because the the doctor was at the top of the American dream. And that was what we were told was supposed to be the thing. If you did that, you're guaranteed a life of meaning, right? But it's just not true. And I find that a lot in a lot of my Prosperity Club members and just the doctors I've worked with one-on-one and they're tired, they're burnt out, frustrated. They want to make a difference, but they want to make money too and they absolutely deserve it. So I have found meaning in my life serving them and it feels so, so good. In the show notes, there's some instructions, some calls to action. I'd say go to the show notes. Just scroll down wherever you're listening to this podcast, scroll down. There's probably some information there. At the least, there's a link to a place where you can go and see the show notes because I'd like you to take the money mentality quiz. I'd like you to join the Embracing Wealth Masterclass. Like, I really encourage you to do these things and not because we get to hang out together. I mean, they are free. So I'm pouring into you. I'm serving you, but we get to hang out together and not just because we get to hang out together, but because I know how much it will mean to you. I know what a difference it'll make in your life. And that's why I encourage you to do those two things. If you don't do anything else now, of course you can go to the website and purchase the the listener bundle if you want to, but not a big deal right now. I really want to make sure you take the money mentality quiz. And if you've already done that, then to take the embracing wealth masterclass. And we did a couple of pre ones. So I know don't say you already done that because you haven't. We did a few pre launch versions of it and we did it for an intimate group. So you might have, you might've been in that intimate group, but for the most part, you probably have it. So you should do it right now. We we're going to do the next one in about a, two weeks and you should be there. So that's all I have for now. I wonder if you need me to recap. Now, you know, I dropped in some ones, I dropped in some extras. So I'll try to remember all of it, but first admit, admit that you've been programmed and be unapologetic about it. Second, visualize your prosperous life. Like, and don't let anybody else's ideas get in the way. Then you create a plan for that, to get to that prosperous life and follow that plan and then be patient with that plan and have a childlike heart, you know, just keep sticking in there, asking for what you want. Don't wait for it to be perfect. And love, just love, 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 be vulnerable. And then get in a tribe, whether it's Prosperity Club or otherwise, get in a tribe. You need to be around people like you, people who are mission-driven, purposeful, because if you're not, then those other people who are just only about money are going to burn you out. They are. 
but you can't just be about the mission either. You've got to merge those two. And that's why I talk about the money mission. It's money. Yeah. But your mission is important too. So I want you to, I encourage you, go out there, make a difference and make money. You can do it. I know you can. I'll guide you if you like. Stay with me. Be here next week. And I'll see you in the club. See you sooner. Thanks for listening all the way to the end, my prosperity pro. I want to stay connected with you. Here are four ways. Pick the one that works best for you if you want to stay connected with me. One, if you have any questions, I'd love to answer them. Send them to podcast at presidentiallifestyle.com. I'd love it if you would make a one or two minute audio message and attach it to an email. That'd be the easiest way for me to get it. Ask me anything about creating a life of meaning over money and I'll get you an answer. Remember the email address is podcast at presidentiallifestyle.com. Two, subscribe to this podcast and share it with your friends because you guys might want to have a discussion about it, especially if they're a CEO who wants to shift from the old American dream to a life of meaning. Three, we try not to have any sponsors on this show unless they are truly in line with our values. I mean, really a good fit. So that means we fund this podcast ourselves. I'd like you to take a look at our resource page to see if there's any products or services that we recommend that are right for you. If not, no worries, maybe later. If so, please use our affiliate link to purchase. Thank you in advance for doing that. You are such an amazing person. Okay, four and last. If you want to know what's happening over here at Presidential Lifestyle and you want us to email you the update, then go to presidentiallifestyle.com slash blog slash now. And you'll see the current updated blog for the week, but you'll also see a link to subscribe to that blog. We can email it to you if you like. That's presidentiallifestyle.com slash blog slash now. Don't worry. You don't have to remember that link or any links. They're all in the show notes. Oh, and I forgot to say, if you're enjoying this podcast, go ahead and leave us a review and tell us how much you're enjoying it. And now for the legalese. This podcast is not to replace professional counsel. The best advice is from a professional who knows you and your specific situation. The topics discussed in this podcast are general in nature and for informational or entertainment purposes only. We encourage you to meet with a professional that you can discuss your specific situation with. Whether you choose us or someone else, one-on-one counsel is important, whether it's a financial, therapeutic, legal, or other decision. So that's all for now. I'll see you next episode. And remember, you can have wealth in all of its forms. Believe it, and you'll soon see it.